chasing the police every single day. Well, protecting his client, that is what a local attorney says he was doing when he was arrested by Metro for telling the woman not to talk with officers. 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan has more on the controversy and the attorney's history with this type of case. Of course, they arrested me because I told my client not to talk to them. Stephen Stubbs spent Friday morning being booked into the Clark County Detention Center for obstruction, but the attorney says all he was doing was protecting his client's rights after she was in a crash. While we were there, a police officer came up behind me um, and told the EM EMTs she's in custody. I say to her, uh, don't talk to the police. Stubbs says the officer didn't like those instructions. He threatened me with arrest if I ever told her that again. He says he and a Metro supervisor managed to de-escalate things at the scene and he headed to the hospital to wait for his client. About a half hour later, um, a uh, nurse comes and gets me. While he was in the room with his client, Stubbs says the same officer came in. And then he tries to start talking to her again. And then I tell her, um, don't talk to the police. That's when Stubbs says things escalated with the officer writing that Stubbs was warned twice by the officers to leave and once by a hospital security guard before he was taken into custody. Stubbs said the officers never asked him to leave, only the security guard. But even after spending an hour in cuffs, Stubbs says officers initially offered to let him leave. Very nicely, I just said, can I please have a supervisor? He said, why? And I said, well, I want to know if a report's going to be filed on me being put in handcuffs for an hour. And, uh, and he said, well, then you're going to jail. And this isn't the first time Stubbs has been arrested for obstruction. He was found not guilty in connection with the 2013 arrest after instructing a client not to speak with officers then. Arrested me for obstruction, same way this is being done, because I refused to leave my client's side. When we called Metro, they were able to confirm Stubbs' arrest, but they said the officer's report hadn't made it into the system, so they couldn't provide us with any additional details. Reporting live, Brian Callahan, 13 Action News. Brian, thank you. Police use who may want to retaliate against him physically. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch, and I just wanted you to know that uh, I am using this stuff under fair use. And uh, also, uh, remember to like and subscribe this channel. Uh, also, too, uh, keep in mind, I do not make any money on YouTube. Uh, this is uh, five hours work a day, uh, you know, fighting for freedom. And uh, I do, I, you can donate with PayPal and Patreon. Uh, I just want you to think about this. If everybody gives uh, to PayPal and Patreon, Patreon is every month. Actually, PayPal you can do every month. I have 12,000 subscribers. If everybody gives, I can uh, quit my regular job and go full-time investigations on Charlotte County and possibly even more and beyond. So just keep that in mind. If everybody helps out, I can go full-time doing this. Thanks.